we got the result we were looking for today and I felt God all over this place. Family of A.J. and Patsy Contrell reacting to Wednesday's clemency vote by Oklahoma's Pardon and Parole Board. The five-member board voting three to two against recommending clemency. Scott Eisenberg was hiding in the Contrell home in Depew, stalking his ex-girlfriend in 2003. When they came home, he bludgeoned A.J. to death. Patsy was accidentally shot. In the days after this attack, Eisenberg went on the run, even carjacking a couple before eventually being arrested in Texas. Prosecutors say for some time, Creek County was on edge. I saw people walking up and down the main street in Bristow and the main street in Depew carrying firearms like it was Beirut. Attorneys for Eisenberg say their client is not the worst of the worst, that he deserved clemency. That request denied despite Eisenberg's remorse. I apologize profusely to all the victims, all the victims, and all, and when I say all, I mean the entire Creek County community. Deborah Cantrell Wyatt, the Cantrell's daughter, now ready to start a new chapter. I feel I can get a good night's sleep now and go home and spend time with my two precious grandsons and my beautiful little granddaughter. Wyatt says she looks forward to the holidays with her family now, which in her mind includes the carrying out of Eisenberg's sentence. A big holiday is coming January 12th. That's how I feel, you know. Hallelujah. That's my heart. Eisenberg's execution is set for January 12th unless the governor chooses to issue a stay and delay the execution.